Or Anita, what can you share? A two-year-old little girl, and she is set to be okay. Tempe police uh, will be sending out uh, some investigators shortly to examine that little girl as well as try to figure out exactly what happened here. Let me introduce you to uh, Sergeant Josie Montenegro, live with us this morning. Uh, you said this is probably a parent's worst nightmare. Oh, absolutely. It's, you know, luckily the mom trusted her instincts. You know, a lot of times we might hear something in the middle of the night and think that it might be... stranger in his home holding his daughter. Yeah, so this all started about 2.30. Mom woke up because she heard the two-year-old whimpering. They have a four, a three-month-old that sleeps with them in the bed. The two-year-old has her own bedroom and is whimpering, and that's when she got up and noticed something's not right. Correct. And, you know, it's because with the door closed and she hears her whimpering, you know, it probably wasn't very loud. So luckily, she knew that something was wrong. She woke up her husband and, um, you know, it's just so unfortunate that this happened to them, but we're grateful that we do have the suspect in custody right now. Take us through what happened when dad leaves their bedroom, walks into the family room. You know, he sees this stranger in the living room holding his daughter and just went into protective mode, basically, um, confronted the suspect. There was a physical altercation between the two of them. Um, mom called 911. The suspect got up and tried to leave, and luckily we had officers arriving in the area as he was running away. He was not cooperating. Dad Dad was able to point him out, and you guys actually, officers, had to tase him to stop him. Correct. Yeah, we had the officer um, obviously make that uh, contact with the suspect, but the suspect wasn't cooperating with all the commands the officer was giving him, and which ultimately led to him being tased. The big question, he's 34 years old. You guys have identified him to us. He lives in Glendale, you mentioned, so really we don't know how or why he's here, how or why he may have been in that apartment, all under investigation, and that is what is so difficult right now. much for all that information. Again, so uh, now police will be trying to piece together whether there was any type of relationship between the suspect <coughs> and the family members, if they knew each other, if this perhaps was a case of mistaken identity. Um, the sergeant did mention that he appeared intoxicated, so maybe wrong place, uh, wrong time. Uh, a lot of questions, but really the most important part, they say, is that that two-year-old is okay this morning. Back to you. Absolutely.